Good morning, class. Happy radio. Ellen? Yes. Yara? Yes, Miss. Ibrahim? Morning. Toby? 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 This is sick. Really? What's wrong with him? No, Miss. He's sick. Yeah, Miss. My best friend's sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend heard from this kid who says he had Toby making a lunchtime radio show with a load of young people at Avenue's Youth Club. She says it was sick. Miss! Hello everybody, good afternoon, it is 5 past 12, you are listening to Avenues FM on 87.7 on your FM dial or avenuesfm.com, you can send us a text in on 07949891452 if you'd like to say hello or just sit back, relax and listen to the wonderful tones of me, Toby 2B of Brown Baby and some incredible young people from a local school that we have with us today. So I think we're going to do another roll call to these common hip-hop beats here, the light behind us. Let's hear who we've got in the studio today. Who have we got here? Shout out your name for me. Precious, Eva, Aiden, Anthony, Greta, Sam, Sia, Tyler, Cameron, Zio, Petra, Avenue, Habu, Best in the World, Malaya, Kofu Kofu, Sean, Cairo, Walter, Edward, Ola, my name's Mark. Fantastic. And next, who else have we got? Amy, Nabil, Richard, Tyrese. Jonathan, Megan, Layla, Carsten, Sueli, Adam, Yusha, Yao, Alana, Honda, Tarek, Corey, Lily, Kayla, Phoebe. Wonderful. Welcome, everybody. And what, what school is it that you all come in from today? St. Mary's. Lovely. Who have we got in the house today? My name is Mohammed. Don't sweat. Uh, my, my name is Ibrahim. My name's Mohammed. My name's Ola. My name's Valentina. Eva. It class. Levina. Yara. Swetcha. Ellen. Mohammed. Dennis. Joshua. Hello. Alexander. Denise. Fantastic. Welcome all. Jennifer. Martina. Jordan. Billy. Jeanette. Fantastic, yeah, cool. And uh, what school is it you're all from? Colville! Voice is nice and loud, shout up. Who have we got in the studio? Me, Amal, Kalfa, Yusra, Kamida, Albi, Sonica, 
Fantastic. Welcome, all of you. Welcome, one. Welcome, all. Wonderful. And uh, what school is it you're from? Bobby! Great stuff. And welcome to the show today. We're here with a very special group of people once again from a local school. And we're going to introduce you all right about now. Daniel. Ibrahim. Rene. Kiara. Rosie. Fatima, Fiona, Joshua. And me, Toby TB. Welcome to the show. So let's uh, let's start the show by hearing who have we got exactly in the studio. I'd like you all to shout out your names for me, please. Sophie. Who have we got here? Millie, Sophia, Badia, Brata, Cameron. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all here today. And what school is it you all from? St. Thomas's. Fantastic. Yes, it's St. Thomas's in the house again. Enjoy this. I was back in the 80s, music lives on, it's kind of funny though, cause old school hip hop is three years ago, and nowadays you barely hear that on the radio, remember jukebox, you could request a video, don't even talk about it, I just get nostalgic, this is what your style miss, and I'm trying to salvage real, 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 real. Thank you. 
Today I, I am going to tell a, an acrostic poem written by me. B is for blossom falling off the trees. A is for autumn coming our way. O is for, for radio, people talking, people listening. L is for learning together hand in hand. B is for children banging on drums. Y is for people springing their yo-yos. yo-yos. Thank you for listening to Barbie's Radio. Have a lovely day. Hi, this is Mr. Towers, Year 5 teacher at Barby Primary School with my class, Ravinia.
had a long, happy life with her brothers. Her mother treated her like a boy, so she grew up like a boy. She played. She had once played for a lion and came back with a horrible scar. That reminded her of determination and courage. She had long black hair and baby blue eyes, and that could fool any that could fool anyone with her beauty. She trained for seven hours every day. The only day she rested was her mum's death day. After a few days of preparing, Hussamas left his castle and went on the quest. He had packed a lot of food and water for his treacherous journey. It was snowing and this made Hussam shiver and feel really tired. His soldiers waved goodbye and wished him luck. This encouraged him and this encouraged him and made him forget about the weather. His heart started to pound as fast as a sports car. Climbing up the huge and dry mountain, he started to get tired. A few days had passed and the mountain had gotten steeper and steeper. He sat down and had a drink of water. He looked up and saw a farm. This raised his spirit. He pulled himself up to the door. So the adventure begins. The adventure begins from these young people telling us all about this wonderful mystery, this myth. Stay tuned for more. Oh, 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 oh,
much for that cost with earth now next up we're going to hear a little poem about this fantastic planet of ours our precious world why do people not look after the world it's supposed to be as pre- special as a pearl whatever happened to the fairness of equality everyone's the same just like you and me We're always wasting very precious energy. We need to save the polar bears, they have rights. Don't you think they should sleep well every night? Keep in mind that they live here too. You can't just snap your fingers and make the world new. This is Jamira Kwai. Emergency on planet Earth. Start off at 
step one. Step one, when you're not using any socket, take out at any time possible when you're not using it. Step two, before you go anywhere, switch off all the, the lights in the house. This will save a lot of electricity when you get back. Step three, before you go to bed or anywhere, turn off all the gadgets like televisions and there will be electricity saved for the next day. Step four, when you when you go to bed, don't leave stuff like the heater on in the night. It will waste a lot of electricity and cause serious problems. And step five, last but not least, when you are going to bed or somewhere else, do not overload the circuits. It will waste, it will waste even more electricity and even come to a fire. And that is Anna Guys, five steps to saving the ele saving electricity. I think next up, we're going to ask a simple question of the listeners, and that question is, what is wrong with grooving? What is wrong with grooving? Can't a girl just have a little happy Without any hide and seek What is this you're risking for? Thank you. 
stars, stars, stars shimmering in the sky always. Stars, stars, stars shining, shimmering and shooting. Star always floating in space. Star, 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 as shiny as gold. The next evening, the star, star, stars came out as sparkly as a spark. I was amazed when I saw the stars shooting very quickly at me. The next morning, I went outside and nobody was there. So I looked up in the sky and there was one star left. left, left, left. Shining bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. This song is for Amy, Sophia, Michelle, Isabel, and Kirsten. You're a shooting star, I see. A vision of ecstasy. When you hold me, I'm alive. We're like diamonds in the sky. The universe as we moonshine and my lead. Feel the warmth will never die. We're like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star, I see. A vision of ecstasy. When you hold me, I'm alive. We're like diamonds in the sky. At first sight, I felt the energy. Like a diamond, yeah. Shine uh, bright like a diamond. Shine 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 That was wonderful. That was uh, picked out by Amy, Sophia, Michelle, Isabella and Kirsten from St. Mary's School uh, because it's a song about stars, it's cool, it's a fly song, it's smooth and cool. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
My heart is pounding with fear as I suffer with stress. Deep and crazy thoughts drown me. It's as if as it's as if I'm trapped in a wash of evil. I'm desperate with cruelty because I'm ashamed of what I have done. There is nothing to be done as I can feel the powerful stab through my body which leaves me dying through guilt. My soul which is destroyed is getting more painful by the minute. Exhausted, I can take it no longer. Time is ticking as slow as dirty air. Tick, tock, tick, tock. There's gory blood dripping on my pale, rusty hands. Help me. Why did I do this? Forgive me. I don't know. Why, why did you do it? Well, um, I'm, I was... I started to feel all this guilt coming through into my body because of what I have done to Macbeth. Terrible. Anna Lou, terrible person. That's you as Lady Macbeth. I think you'd make an amazing Lady Macbeth. You've got, you've, you've got me frightened. Yeah, it's all about the Henry VIII hip-hop around here. We're taking this whole hip-hop thing to a whole different level, to a whole, a whole different place. Totally different. We're not talking about the usual stuff. We're going over. It's history raps. History raps here is what we're talking about. So, next up, we're going to listen to a little bit of funk box. We're going to have some more raps. Just a teenager and he was 49. She was absolutely stunning and the young man said, Henry put a that off for the head, off for the head, for the head, for the head, for the head. Off with her head. This is Mr. Chalkley from St. Thomas's. Today, my class is going to school you. With brown babies! On Adelie's Are you ready, Fatima? Yes. Come on, are you ready? <laughs> yes! Come on! <laughs> We're gonna pump out the proper wicked beats and rhymes now with Fatima. was Henry Wife number four. He married her, though he never seen her before. She didn't speak English. She looked like a horse. Six months later, Henry said, I want a divorce, divorce, divorce. divorce. 
party's right tonight, that's the vibe. The ladies on the floor around the outside. Next up, MC Josh, you are in the house. should be Henry's next wife. Now he's been fed and sickly near the end of his life. She called her son and daughters, but soon after they arrived, Henry's daughter over, but Catherine survived. Catherine probably the next one should be Henry's next wife. Now he was fat and sickly near the end of his life. She called her son and daughters, but soon after they arrived, Henry's daughter over, but Catherine survived. Let's have some more of that Henry VIII business. Catherine of Arab was first on the scene. For more than 20 years, she had a wife and a queen. She gave him many children, but not a living son. So Henry said, I divorced this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. Supposed to be queen number two. I love her baby daughter, the best you could do. This woman come trust her, travel mix said, Henry said, off of her head, of her head, of her head, of her head. Catherine Howells, the next in land. She was just a teenager and he was 49. She's absolutely stunned when the young man said, Henry put a stop to that, off of her head, of her head, of her head, of her head. Keith was him wife number four. He married the other who never seen her before. She didn't speak English, she looked like a horse. Six months later, Henry said, I want a divorce, 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 divorce. Very nice. What was he looking for again? Correct. That's exactly what he was looking for. He was looking for a wife. Now I'm looking for the Jungle Brothers. Break down. 
now. Lovely bugs giving hugs, help them please, all surveys, help them, help them, oh please. speech about the environment. We've only got one life, one chance, one everything. Not everything can grow back. Everything was perfect and now we can't perfect it. Unless we work together as a great team. Thank you for your listening. This is Yara and I'm going to be doing the Earth Song. The world is such a wondrous place Filled with all my favourite things Like raindrops falling on my face And all the beauty nature brings But I see people doing what they please Taking what they want and what they need Killing trees, the land and seas Breaking my heart as I watch them bleed Won't you spare a thought for me? Slid up, that's all I've got. Slid up. 
love is what we've got. Wow, amazing. Round of applause. Yara, that's amazing. We've got some talent in here. <laughs> Guys, that was beautiful. Did you write that? Um, no. No, you didn't write it. Well, you certainly performed it. I can tell you that. Wow, you blew me away with that. Absolutely incredible. Right, well, from one incredible voice, young voice there, to one that's slightly older, but a classic nonetheless, here's Donna Summer with Spring Affair. Hopefully spring is on its way now. very much to the great Donna Summer there with Spring Affair. Summer. Spring. <laughs> uh, I've only just noticed that. Brilliant. Uh, okay, next up we're going to have another amazing song, this time from Lavina. 
Hi, it's Lavina again. I'm going to be singing a song made by me and it class called Beautiful World. Oh, I think about it every night and day. And all I can say is we should be ashamed of what we did to this beautiful world. And I know it's true, cause I did it too. And I'm doing it for you. When grass grows, then you know it's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful world when it's summer or spring. And you life will bring a beautiful world. It's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful world. Gosh, that is incredible! Twice in one day, that's Did like lightning sing striking. From the other groups? That was amazing. That was incredible. Yeah, we've had we've had a couple of songs this week actually. To be fair, we started on we had Earth Song earlier on this uh, early on this week with uh, Valentina and Ola, right? And that I thought that was absolutely amazing. They were they just hit the notes and it was brilliant. Uh, but yeah, we've even raised the bar she even further. And you made that up yourself? Yeah. Wow. So we've got <laughs> writers, we've got singers, you've got you guys got the lot. You'll be in here soon producing your own stuff. I'm sure of that. Absolutely. That was incredible. Wow. I'm just absolutely just dumbfounded by that right we're going to go on to um this is uh, an artist called kilo kish with navy which talks about us all being kind of stars in the sky and quite frankly i think it's very fitting for these guys right now on my pillow I'm thinking of where this could go I'm slowing down the tempo your eyes so black they're like the universe in me I think that what I'm trying to see is if you have enough to be every part of everything my fingertips are burning scratching and they're yearning they want to be at your place chalk outline in your face do you know how stars taste well you'll find out one day maybe me maybe not Like, 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 like